If I may be so bold. Now... Listen here. Hmm. No. Hmm. Thanks. You have my thanks. Uh huh. Now, what? Get up to much last night, did you? Meet with any interesting characters? Last night? I don't know what you're talking about. Spare as you lies. You're a traitor, man. Fixing to leave our little kingdom behind for bigger and better. Don't bother to deny it. Roland? Surely not. Surely so, lad. Or did ye think it a coincidence that our precious resources only go missing on this treacherous dog's watch? And what are the shady fella in the cloak he met with this past evening? Just an old pal come for a chinwag, was he? I'd like to hear ye explain that little lot away, Mr. President. There must be some mistake. Mustn't there, Leander? One should not rush to judgment on the basis of hearsay alone, but I must say, this does seem somewhat irregular. What? There you have it. Now sling your hook before I sling it for you, you scurvy swine. So that's how much trust I've earned, huh? Good to know. Maybe I would be better off someplace else. Someplace my talents will be appreciated. He as good as admits it. So long, Batu. Evan. Roland! You can't! Not even the slightest attempt to defend himself. One cannot help but wonder if Batu's suspicions were well-founded. No! Well now. Hmm. 
Forgive me. Master Roland! You. Aye, that I am. Tumbish is the name. This gentleman was apprehended after being observed behaving suspiciously in our airspace. It is our belief that he is a spy. Curse you, you devils! Didn't I say already? I was looking for Master Roland! For me? Why? Forgive me, Your Honor. Seems I made a blunder. <laughs> you sure did. And why am I not surprised? 
Now, Mr. Crane, to our test. Let us see where your allegiance truly lies. Dispatching one of your former allies should provide us with adequate proof that you are ready to serve a new master. No, no. Listen here, you rat-faced swab, you. Is something the matter? Surely you are capable of such a straightforward show of commitment? Or could it be that we have an imposter in our midst? Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's just say I prefer to use my own methods. Master Roland! No! We're shipmates! You, you can't just... Sorry. It's nothing personal. We were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ah! Curse you for the traitor you are! Ah! <laughs> Happy now? Happy enough. <sighs> yeah. Forgive me. What? What? Oh. Mm -hmm. Say. Sure. All right. Hmm. Yes.
<laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Huh? Just looking for something. Something very special indeed. The Mark of Kings, if I am not mistaken. So it was hidden here all along. And hidden very well. Believe me when I say we searched long and hard. I am disappointed in you, Roland. To deceive one's professed master is most uncivil. All's fair in love and war. Isn't that what they say? Indeed it is. I am so very glad not to have believed you for a moment. Now, if you would be so kind as to hand over the mark. 
I don't think so. This belongs to the king. My king. Of course, if you'll sign the declaration, I'll be happy to make you a trade. You speak of your pathetic union. Now, I hardly think you are in any position to bargain. Not interested, huh? Well, let me know if you change your mind. Ha! To send a spy was most cunning. I must confess I had not thought your young protege capable of such subterfuge. Well, he's not about to poison his rivals or anything, but he's coming along. Very droll. But you of all people surely understand that no dream worthy of the name can be achieved without certain sacrifices being made along the way. It had to be done. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm sure you would. So what is this dream of yours, exactly? For too long, our kind have suffered at the hands of the Grimalkin. My dream is a simple one. To see our feline oppressors prostrate themselves at our feet. Revenge, in other words. I'll call it what you will. It matters not. I have achieved my aim. A new era beckons, and my dream is now a reality. Tell me something. If your kind were so downtrodden, how exactly did you wind up becoming King Leonard's Chancellor? Pa! He used me! I was the unwitting tool of my persecutor. A puppet chosen to make my people more compliant. Whatever helps you sleep at night. I am tired of listening to this man. We should kill him, here and now. Hmm. Very well. Men, forward! Well, here goes nothing. That's right. Come and get me.
ready. This is where you come in. And off you go. Who the? Where the? What's going on? Curse you. What's that now? Excuse me. Well. Yes. <laughs> huh? Snakes alive! Hmm. Forgive me. <clears throat> if I may be so bold. So at last the hour had come for Evan to return to Ding Dong Dell. 
and convince King Mao Zedong to sign the Declaration of Interdependence. Bright-eyed, yet heavy-hunted, he prepared to take the final steps of the journey he had begun, what now seemed a lifetime ago. It was time to bring his dream of a united world one step closer to reality. Did my father and Mausinger hate each other? Sometimes it's just not possible for people to stay friends. Sometimes the circumstances just won't allow it. I can't believe that father would have hated someone or been suspicious of them simply because of their species. But then, why else would Mausinger do what he did? I suppose he was afraid. Afraid? Of what? That the great man he dedicated his life to was using him and will one day cast him aside. Think about it. What could be more frightening than being discarded by someone you love? Not that I know all the details, of course. Right. Chapter 8 Land of My Fathers All right. Uh-huh. 